and good morning people welcome back to Alandra last time we saved Giles from his nightmare and sent the villagers back to the town however we're still in Magiscar because this is where we're meant to be so let's go through and see where it takes us more of these are these enemies however We've got a new uh, mechanic in the game. Torches. Fire burns down these. If I can hit them. So let's try that again. I do believe these torches are the only uh, environmental object that don't one hit enemies. I uh, don't know why I'm defeating uh, going for after those because it doesn't really matter because down here it does. Safe point down there, which I will go into. Well, I don't need to now. And we've got a switch over here. Yay for a bow. Once on the wall, you can hit. And we've got a locked door over there. This teleporter takes us to a little area with these, which are new, uh, new monsters. They spawn random sorts of... well, it's not random, it's uh, based on the area. They take around about 8 hits to kill and they will continuously spawn what it's planned, uh, what it's coded to. So in this place uh, slimes until it's dead. Up to a limit of 4. But what I want to do is just run past all these and get the, get the, these chests. Nothing too much because when this isn't a part of the area mostly. Just a bit of money. I need I do need need you out of the way. Get past these without. Uh, Taking some damage is a bit difficult. And a health tonic. Strength tonic. Uh, might as well. Just so I can get out with have a bit more gained health. And we don't need to defeat you, so... Back through we go. Right, so I need this, and I need to get onto that uh, platform. Avoid you, and burn you down. And down we go. We get met by uh, one of these. And we've got a platform with arrows on it. This is uh, one of those directional plates. If you press the button, it will take you in that direction. If you want to stop, just jump on it. Now, if you think there's spikes there, you're absolutely correct. However, luckily they didn't uh, pop up on me. And that actually went a lot better than it should have done. So, ah, uh, two hits. They hurt, but uh, can't really do too much about that. 
One thing to note about uh, these torches, do not jump on them, otherwise you will hurt yourself and uh, they, the torch will disappear. Also, Thornbush is hurt. Now, I need to put these up here. Because I'll still be needing these. And let's go up here. Uh, sorry for your ears, but uh, I'd rather just get rid of them the easy way. Um, I still need a bit of health. And they're gone. Now I can fall down to here. And put them up. Back up the steps. Or ladder. And I can get up here. Now, this is a little time puzzle. You jump on it, they all come up, and then they all fall down. You cannot get through on a single run. You have to dash through it, so... I failed on that, but uh, that's okay. I only got hit once. And then you can jump down once you've got the key. You can be knocked off by them, so it can be a bit tricky. I think I'll be heading into the save point to get my health back once I get there. That was terrible. And uh, yeah. To get past this bush, just do that. If you go up too far, you will get hit by it, so. But it didn't matter too much since I was going to the save point anyway. So, what does this key give us? Access to here. For another little puzzle. This one is quite difficult to time right, actually. I do need to get rid of these uh, enemies, though. At least the ones on this main, uh, main panel. And... And I need also to get rid of the... Uh, thing that is spawning these mud monsters. Everything on there can stay there now, because that's what I need. One thing to note about this area is that uh, it is one of the places where you cannot come back to, so we need to get that chest now. It's not, it's not something we can put off. So how do we get that? Well. Let's blow that uh, switch. And you will see. There's some uh, torches up the top there. However, we cannot jump onto these, these when they're up. What we need to do is blow them at a specific timing. Um, oh, that's okay. And also, we've got to place it so one bomb doesn't blow up another. Which is a lot harder than it seems. Because edges like that. I don't think that's going to work. And it did. Yeah, typical. This might take a bit of trial and error.
Come on. Damn it. Thought I had it then. Uh, yeah, you can't time it with the far one. I believe you have to get the uh, closer one. Uh, where am I going? I need to switch the switch. This might take a bit, so I will come back when I get it correct. So, back in a little while. Probably a long while. Yes, got it! Ooh. Just in time. Right, do not throw it at the small bush, that will do nothing for you. However, the big bushes give you a guilty falcon. So yes, you need to get that, otherwise it is lost forever. And now we can continue on as normal. So, up we go. Round and round and round and round. Alright, now I can continue on with the level. More mud monsters. I don't know why I'm defeating it, don't need to. All I need to do is get across here, pick up this, grab this, put it in the corner, run up here, and press the button. Pick up one of these, and burn that to a crisp. This one, I do need to get rid of all these monsters, because they will be in the way otherwise. Cool, you had to put it that way, didn't you? Oh well, that's not too much of a problem. Right, there are four torch uh, three torches in the area. You only need to use two of them. Burn this bush. Yeah, the, the third one is all the way through here. Luckily, you don't really need it. In fact, it's detrimental to actually get it, in my opinion. Collect the second one. And burn this bush up here. And once you're here, just a diagonal leap to pick up a life vessel. Pretty simple, really. But a nice reward. And I'm back to full health. So, now I need to get back onto this platform before I get hit. Oh well. And follow the route which I'm meant to be going. Alright, now we've got a... Uh, Another new thing, these drops of water, if you stand underneath them, will destroy the torch that you're holding. So yeah, try to avoid that. You only need to use one, if you can get at it right, and burn that bush for a key. And now down. Okay, that's the first time I've got hit by those, ever. Oh well. 
we can nerp, but we don't need the herb, so. And we've got this. Did have enemies there, but uh So why did we use a key for a key? Well, this does have herb plants. If you don't if you've got uh, but since we're on max, it doesn't really matter too much. The way we're meant to be going is a bit more to the west. Sorry, to the east. At least on the map. <laughs> the uh, thing. Cockroaches. These are pains in the back because they uh, like to jump on you. Luckily they are pretty weak. And we've got some more moving uh, things. Luckily, easy to get through. Now we need to destroy all of these to let the to get that platform to drop. So I'm going to just take them out from afar. And that platform drops. And we've got another lot to do, uh, deal with. That is a terrible place for them to be in, actually. Uh, let's get them over here and... That's worse. That's terrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Their positioning on this one isn't exactly what I'd call amazing, but uh, I'm not sure why I didn't think of the bomb before, but there you go. One more. Platform drops, and we can get through. This is what the first key was meant to be for, this room here, but... Better to open them both. Now, there are no torches in this room. However, these can burn up the uh, things here. So what I want them to do is uh, burn up that. But I still need to destroy them all. Because I need the platform to lower. So, one more. Thank you for giving me a bit of space, and that's that done. This room, when I first did it, took me a while to remember that the uh, turtles breathed fire, so yeah. More of these mud monsters. There are three of them. And we've got the choice of two paths. They lead to the same place, roughly, and that was... But uh, this one is more important. For the simple reason of 30 Gilder. So, where do we need to go next? Our next destination is actually up that way. 
But first we need to use this platform. To go and get an item. Which is quite important. Another key. And that. Um, yeah. Use water. Uh, use the water magic because I'm going to be picking up a uh, second magic elixir in a moment. Use this on this bush, as you can see. We're in the same place as we were before. And we need to get across this. And that's better. Oh, nice. Very nice. Full health again. So up we go. Another one of these corpse things. And... There we go. Up there is the magic elixir which I was talking about. And to get it we need this torch. So, and um, that switch will help us. And there we go. Pretty simple puzzle. Might help if I use the one I've got first though. Back to bombs. And we've got a second torch if we need it, but uh, can't really be used too much. Down here isn't somewhere we want to be, but I'll show you it anyway. We've got some water. It's just an exit uh, uh, for something we drop in down into possibly later. Again, avoid the water droplets, otherwise they will buy your path. And do not drop onto these. I usually blow that one up because it's simpler to get past. That chest there is actually uh, not really that amazing, but. Uh, I'll show you it anyway, if I could get the time in. You can get past there on a single bound. Uh, but I just failed it, miserably. Just like I did that. Mm. Really? Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, of course. Let it land on your head. Then open the chest for Ferdy Gilda. 
how to get back, of course. Well, jump down again. Money isn't totally necessary, but I do still need it. I think I need 2,000 for what I need to buy, uh, buy next. Okay, now I can continue on with this uh, dungeon. I need to kill all these, and they've got bugs in. I believe there's one more. I might be wrong though. So, bomb time. One of these platforms leads to an area. I believe it's this one over here, but uh, one on the right. As you can see the rest are covered up so down we go. I don't believe we can get up uh, back up now. As you can see we're back in the starting area so I guess that's a good thing. If you want, you can go and uh, save, which actually I think I will do. Heal up. Save your progress? Yeah, why not? Haven't done it in quite a while, actually. Yeah, back when this swamp was happening, so yeah. <laughs> so, where did that switch lead? Uh, uh, is that switch leading us to? Uh, deeper into the cave, I guess. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, yes. Strange force seems to restrain the movement of the lever. As you can see this pattern, we need a, this top one to be facing down, this one to be left, this one to be up, and this one to be right. And it will drop this platform. There are four ways to go if I remember correctly and four challenges that await us so I guess that's what's happening next time so until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun goodbye